Have you ever wondered what the concept of prophetic art is really all about and what it means to actually create with the Holy Spirit? Well, we're going to jump into that question today and give you some answers that are hopefully going to be really, really easy for you to understand here today on 5-Minute Mentoring. Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you are with me today on 5-Minute Mentoring. Listen, one of the passions of my heart is helping to connect artists with the original artist, the creator of all creators, <laughs> the living God. And uh, I love when people ask me the question, what it means to create prophetic art or what it means to create with the Holy Spirit, because it's a subject that I think is near and dear to the heart of God. It's near and dear to my heart. And yet there's a lot of confusion around it. You know, the way I put prophetic art into a definition is really just creating art with God. It's this idea that when you do the thing that God has created you to do as an artist and you invite him into that process, his life, his light, the Holy Spirit begins to lead and guide you and move in and through the process. You're transformed because you're with him. Your work becomes an act of worship as you're doing whatever it is that you do in the studio, whether it's like me, whether you make baskets or paint or create music or write books, or maybe you do pottery or in ceramics, or maybe you do jewelry, fiber, or whatever it might be, wood, turning on a, on a lathe. It doesn't matter. When you offer that to the Lord, it becomes worship to him. And the Bible is really clear that God inhabits the praise of his people. That is, when you're in the studio and you're worshiping God and you're, you're offering what you do to him as an act of worship, his promise is to invade that space. His promise is for heaven to come to earth. His promise is to move in and through you, both to transform you and to use your life and the work that you create as this beautiful intersection point where he can speak to and move upon others, lead them, guide them, uh, just doing incredible things through the work that you create. You know, when I think about the idea of our work being prophetic, a lot of times people have all this baggage when it comes to thinking, well, gosh, how do I, how do I know if, if it's God or not? How do I know that I'm doing it right? And this is like a big thing. And listen, I always say that God cares much more that you create than what you create. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that I believe that as you step into the thing that God has called you to do, that is being an artist, being in the studio, showing up every day to do the work, increase your skills, in larger capacity, as, as you do those things, God is glorified. I love the, the quote that St. Irenaeus, one of the early church fathers, said that when he said, the glory of God is man fully alive. That is, when you do the thing that God has designed you to do, that in itself brings God glory. And so as you approach this concept of being filled with the Holy Spirit, cooperating with the Holy Spirit in what you do creatively, don't come into it with all this pressure of, I've got to do it a certain way, and is this God or not, or, or not God enough, or, or, or you know, and do I have the, the right thing exactly? Do I have to paint it exactly this way or write the story exactly this way? Listen, God wants you to get this more than you want to get it. <laughs> and if you'll just say yes to the process and show up and begin to walk with him, he will lead and guide you in a beautiful way that is both powerful transformative and also uniquely you, which I think is one of the most beautiful parts about, about how this process works. Because, you know, God could, could speak the same inspiration to 10 different artists, but because we're all wired differently, because we all love different things, because we're all at different levels uh, of skill and experience and, um, you know, different parts of our uh, creative expression express different ways, God's love and his light and his life express differently through each person. Same inspiration, same truth maybe, but different expression. And so I love that and I believe that God loves that as well. Friend, thanks a lot for spending some time with me today talking about prophetic art. If, if you're wanting to learn more about what it means to be an artist who's creating with the Holy Spirit, let me invite you, check out the resource that we're linking to right here in this episode. It's all about prophetic art, the biblical basis of it, other artists that are doing it, how God inspires you. It's a huge, huge resource that's going to be a big, big blessing in your life. Grab that today. It's absolutely free on my website. You can get it on the link right here at this episode. All right. 
Hey, thanks again for being here with me on 5-Minute Mentoring. And remember, until next time, you were created to thrive. Bye.